Imagine boarding a plane, only to disappear without a trace in the middle of your journey. Welcome to the enigma of the Bermuda Triangle, a region that has baffled scientists, explorers, and the curious for decades. The Bermuda Triangle, stretching between Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico, is a place shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Over the years, it has gained notoriety due to the inexplicable disappearances of numerous aircraft and ships. These incidents aren't just sporadic anomalies, they form a pattern that defies logical explanation. Records of strange occurrences date back to as early as the 15th century when Christopher Columbus reported seeing unusual lights and experienced erratic compass readings. Fast forward to the 20th century and we have the infamous Flight 19 incident. In December 1945, five Navy bombers vanished while on a routine training mission, leaving no trace of wreckage or the 14 airmen on board. The search plane sent to find them also disappeared, adding another layer to the mystery. There are theories aplenty, each attempting to unravel the enigma of the Bermuda Triangle. Some propose magnetic anomalies that interfere with compass readings, while others suggest the existence of underwater gas hydrates causing ships to sink. Alien abductions and time warps also make the list, appealing to those with a taste for the fantastical. Yet despite extensive research and countless investigations, no theory has been able to provide a definitive explanation. The Bermuda Triangle seems to guard its secrets fiercely, refusing to give up its mysteries to the world. It is a place where the known laws of physics and nature appear to falter, where the ordinary becomes extraordinary, and where explanations remain elusive. With no conclusive evidence or explanation, the Bermuda Triangle remains one of the world's greatest unsolved mysteries. A serial killer who taunted the police with cryptic messages, yet still walks free. This chilling line sets the tone for our journey into one of the most baffling unsolved mysteries of our time, the case of the Zodiac Killer. The story begins in the late 60s and early 70s in Northern California. An unknown individual who would later come to be known as the Zodiac Killer, embarked on a spree of terror, claiming the lives of at least five victims. The killer's choice of victims appeared to be random, striking fear into the heart of the entire region. What sets the Zodiac Killer apart from other serial killers of the time is the audacious way he interacted with the authorities. The killer sent a series of chilling letters to local newspapers, taunting the police, and claiming more victims than the authorities had linked to him. These letters were often accompanied by cryptograms, ciphers that the killer claimed would reveal his identity once solved. Despite the collective efforts of the police, FBI, and even amateur codebreakers, only one of these complex ciphers has been definitively cracked. This cipher, known as the 340-character cipher, was solved 50 years after it was first sent, and it only served to deepen the mystery. It contained a rambling, eerie message, but no clear clue to the killer's identity. To this day, the Zodiac Killer's case remains one of the most infamous unsolved mysteries in the annals of crime. Numerous suspects have been considered over the years, and yet no one has been definitively identified as the Zodiac Killer. Even with advances in forensic technology, the case seems as far from closure as it was in the 70s. Despite the best efforts of law enforcement and amateur sleuths, the Zodiac Killer's identity remains a mystery. We are left with a chilling legacy of a killer who not only evaded capture, but also managed to turn his crimes into a macabre puzzle that continues to baffle us. This mystery, like the others we're exploring, serves as a stark reminder of the limits of our understanding, even in a world where knowledge seems to be at our fingertips. A book filled with unknown symbols and illustrations, whose meaning has eluded the brightest minds for centuries. Imagine a text so mysterious, so impenetrable, that it has defied interpretation for over 600 years. This is the Voynich Manuscript. Discovered in the early 20th century by Polish book dealer Wilfred Voynich, this enigmatic manuscript dates back to the 15th century. It's a modest book about 240 pages long, but its contents are anything but ordinary. The manuscript is filled with illustrations of unidentified plants, strange constellations, and what appears to be female figures bathing in an intricate system of tubes and green pools. But the most intriguing part? The text. Written in an unknown script, the Voynich Manuscript's language is like no other on Earth. Over the years, cryptographers, linguists, and codebreakers have tried to crack this cipher, to no avail. It's a language that seems to follow consistent rules, yet remains undecipherable. Some have even suggested it might be a sophisticated hoax, a theory that adds another layer of intrigue to this enduring mystery. 
There have been countless theories proposed over the years. Some believe it's a coded alchemical text, others propose it's a lost natural philosophy treatise. There are those who think it's a secret medical manual, while others speculate it's the work of an unknown medieval genius. Yet, despite all these theories and the countless hours spent on trying to unlock its secrets, the Voynich manuscript remains a riddle. Is it a lost language, an elaborate hoax, or a coded message waiting for the right key? We may never know. But the allure of the unknown, the tantalizing prospect of a mystery unsolved, keeps us coming back, keeps us questioning. The Voynich manuscript continues to baffle linguists and codebreakers, its secrets locked away in its cryptic pages. As we turn the pages of this mysterious manuscript, we're reminded of the endless possibilities and the profound depths of human curiosity. An ancient monument, its origins shrouded in mystery and controversy. The Sphinx, a colossal statue with the body of a lion and the face of a human, has for centuries held a commanding presence in the Giza Plateau of Egypt. Its grandeur and enigmatic aura have given birth to countless theories and debates. The Sphinx is believed to be the oldest monumental sculpture in Egypt, yet its exact age remains a subject of fierce dispute. Some historians argue that it was built by the pharaoh Khafra around four and a half thousand years ago, but others, going against the grain, suggest it could be significantly older, perhaps even predating the Egyptian civilization itself. They point to evidence of water erosion on the monument, hinting at a time when the region had a much wetter climate. The construction of the Sphinx is another hot topic of debate. Given the primitive tools available at the time, how did the ancient builders manage to carve such an imposing figure directly from bedrock? The answers are as elusive as the desert winds, but the Sphinx isn't just a marvel of ancient engineering, it's also a riddle wrapped in an enigma. Why was it built? What purpose did it serve? Some suggest it was a divine guardian of the Giza necropolis. Others propose it was a celestial marker, aligning with the sun and stars to mark important dates. And then there are those who believe it hides buried chambers or passageways, potentially holding untold treasures or ancient knowledge. Regardless of the theories, one thing is certain. The Sphinx is a testament to an advanced and sophisticated civilization, capable of creating works of art and architecture that continue to astound us today. The Sphinx continues to guard its secrets, a silent witness to the sands of time. And as we strive to unravel these secrets we are reminded of the enduring allure of the unknown, the irresistible call of mystery that continues to fascinate and captivate us. In the end, perhaps it is this sense of wonder that is the true legacy of the Sphinx. An entire colony vanishes leaving behind only a cryptic message. This is the chilling tale of the Lost Rono Colony, a saga that has bewitched historians and mystery enthusiasts for centuries. Imagine this, the year is 1587. A group of 115 English settlers arrives on Roanoke Island, off the coast of what is now North Carolina. They establish a colony, the first of its kind in the New World. But here's where the story takes a perplexing turn. When a supply ship returns from England three years later, the entire colony is deserted, the settlers are gone, their houses dismantled, and the only clue to their fate is a single word, Croatoan, carved into a wooden post. Theories about what became of the Roanoke colonists are as varied as they are fascinating. Some suggest they were massacred by local Native American tribes. Others propose they were victims of a Spanish attack. A number of historians believe they might have tried to sail back to England and were lost at sea. And then there's the theory that they assimilated with the nearby Croatoan tribe, now known as the Lumbi people. Yet, despite numerous investigations, archaeological digs and DNA tests, None of these theories have been definitively proven. The fate of the Roanoke colonists, their identities wiped from the pages of history, remains shrouded in mystery. And the word Croatoan, once a beacon of hope, now echoes across the centuries as a haunting reminder of this enigma. The story of the lost Roanoke colony captures the human imagination in a unique way. It's a puzzle that has all the elements of a captivating mystery, a sudden disappearance, a cryptic message, and a host of theories, each more intriguing than the last. But more than that, it's a narrative about the human spirit, about resilience, exploration, and the eternal quest for knowledge. The Lost Roanoke Colony remains one of history's most intriguing unsolved mysteries. And as we delve deeper into the past, we continue to uncover more questions than answers, reminding us that sometimes, the journey towards the truth can be as fascinating as the mystery itself.